Hey, good morning. I'm going to talk just a little bit about one of the biggest mistakes I've made so far with respect to the goats. And you, get, you need to pay attention to this if you're getting started, or even if you've been doing it a while, it may help you because it's helped me tremendously. So I'll give you a little hint. Okay, so we're down here with the goats. Let's take a quick uh, gander at the goats and just get a little bit of a look at them and the dogs and kind of see how everybody's doing. And then we'll visit a little bit about uh, the dogs and, and what I've learned with my experience here, what is the biggest mistake that I've made with them. And hopefully it'll prevent some of y'all from uh, doing the same thing. So let's get a look at the goats here quick first and then we'll go from there. self-feeder that's both a a blessing and a nightmare what I've discovered and it's really not a rocket science type of discovery but the dogs do better if I come and feed them every day it accomplishes a lot of things that self-feeder is kind of a negative thing and by that what I'm saying is if you have dogs that tend to roam or you don't see them around the goats very often, or they're getting under the fence, or uh, climbing over your fence, or going in the woods where the goats aren't there, that kind of thing. using a self-feeder try it for a couple of weeks without it you know you got to hand feed them every day which that's a lot of the problem is there's a lot of people that don't aren't willing to do that and I understand that if they don't have time if you've got a full-time job somewhere else and you have goats it's it'd be very difficult to feed them every single day you know when you get off work the last thing you want to do is go out and take care of the goats or maybe it is and if it is do that it, you'll see a difference overnight.
the dogs are just always with the goats because I always feed them with the goats. If they're not with a goat, for some reason, when I first started this, they might be off over in a different spot or something like that. If they're not with the goats, they don't get fed. Now, if they'll, if they'll follow you back to the goats, then you feed them at the goats. Then it won't be long before they're all always at the goats. So here's the other part of that. Don't feed them at the same time every day. That way, they never know when you're coming. So guess where they're waiting to get fed? The goats. All day. So it's really been a, a, a huge change uh, for us in dealing with the, uh, the dogs. The dogs are awesome as long as they stay with the goats. Now, so that's, that's my biggest tip. You know, that does a lot of different things. It's going to save you money on food. It's going to uh, make sure the dogs all have the same amount of feed. So make sure they all get fed. Because, you know, when you have somebody like White, our matriarch, uh, you know, she's going to eat, then she's probably going to lay down there for a minute by the feeder. And if somebody else wants to come eat, tough break. You know, good luck getting in there on her. So, you know, I know that they have a pecking order and they, they'll work it out. But at the same time, I don't want a dog uh, worrying about eating. Because if they're worrying about eating, uh, and especially when deer season hits, and you've got neighbors all around your area that are maybe gutting deer and leaving the guts out. And if they're worrying about eating and, and whites guarding the feeder, guess what? They're going to go look and, and find whatever they're smelling and eat it. Well, that may be out of your fence. It may not. So it just prevents a lot of those issues, and it makes perfect sense. But it's, it's one, and I, you know, I've got four self-feeders. I went and bought four because there's times when it's difficult for me to come down here and feed them. But whenever I decided, hey, I don't have to feed them first thing in the morning. I don't have to feed them in the evening. I can feed them whenever I want as long as I feed them every day, and that makes them stay around the goats. So, you know, most of the dogs would already stay around the goats, but at some point they have to go eat. And when they have to go eat, they're going to leave the goats to go eat. So you've prevented that from happening too. So it's going to save you money. It's going to save you lots of headaches with your dogs. Uh, it's going to save you some, some potential headaches with neighbors. So it's just, if you can do it, if your jo other job, if you have another job, if it allows you to do it, I highly recommend that you try it. Uh, it, it will benefit you.